All right, welcome back everyone. My name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto, bringing you guys another video. So I hope you all are doing well and that you're having a great day. Today is February 2nd of 2020. So in this video today, guys, I'm gonna be bringing you some information. This is gonna be a how-to tutorial. A lot of members in the community have been having trouble with the incentivized testnet version of Daedalus. I know myself personally, I've been experiencing issues where I try and open up the application on my computer and it just keeps on syncing and it doesn't uh, show any of the, the um, features inside of the wallet. So this video is gonna be explaining um, how to go ahead and resolve that issue if you have been experiencing that. If you are staking on the incentivized testnet and you're having trouble, this video is definitely gonna be very helpful to you. So big shout out first and foremost before we get started to Kiwi Pool. Uh, I reached out to him recently a couple days ago and he was very gracious to walk me through some of the steps. Uh, and also a big shout out to Cardanians over at adapools.org. So on their website, they actually have it listed here as a tab, uh, the Daedalus ITN fix. And this is actually where I found you know, the actual uh, jormungandr slash config.yaml file that you needed to use to update uh, the folders for the Daedalus Rewards wallet. Now guys, this video tutorial is not going to be technical at all. I'm gonna be trying to keep it as simple as possible. So for those of you who are non-technical, uh, this is gonna be for you. There is not gonna be a single line of code that you'll have to write in order to uh, get this working for you. So to get things started, what we're taking a look at here, so I've got the adapools.org website pulled up. This is gonna be a great resource for you. I'm gonna leave a link to this uh, website in the description below if you guys wanna check it out. So what we're going to do today, guys, I'm running on a Mac. If you are on a Windows, the instructions are gonna be very similar. You can just follow along here. Essentially, it's a four-step process, and I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step step how to do that. So I'm on a Mac. If you guys are also using Mac, there's not any other separate applications that you have to download. Everything is already uh, in your toolkit available to you on your computer. So the first thing that we'll have to do is go to the installation folder. On the Mac, the easiest way to do that is go to the Applications uh, tab. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Go at the top, and then we're going to go to the dropdown where it says Applications. I'm going to click on that. And this right here, this tile shows the Daedalus Rewards Incentivized Testnet Wallet. With this, what we're going to do is we're going to want to see all of the folders that are inside this application. So in order to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to right click on the application. So I'm going to right click it and where it says here, show package contents, I'm going to click on this right here. So contents, I'm going to open that folder and we're going to be looking at this folder here where it says Mac OS. I'm going to double click it. And this is going to be where all the files for the Daedalus Incentivized Testnet are stored. Uh, a lot of this right here is going to be what you're doing or what you're gonna be using if you are gonna be setting up a stake pool node. In this case, what we're gonna be taking a look at here is this jormungandr.exe file. So what you'll have to do after you've gotten to this point, you should see all these here, the JCLI jormungandr and the jormungandr-config.yaml file. So we're gonna need to look at jormungandr and jormungandr-config.yaml. Those are the two files that we're concerned about. So to go ahead and get the updated version for both of those files, what we'll need to do is go to the GitHub repository. So I'm gonna show you how to do that directly from the adapools.org website. So this is step two. What we're going to do is go ahead and click on this link here and this is gonna redirect you directly to the GitHub. Now, we are on a Mac. Uh, for those of you who are on Windows, you wanna go ahead and follow the instructions for your uh, operating system. In this case, I'm on a Mac. So I'm gonna click on this right here. So this is Jormungandr version 0.8.9. This is going to be for Mac. So you can see where it says Apple. Okay, so once you download that, it's going to come as a compressed file. When you double click on the file when it's on your desktop, it should uncompress it for you automatically. You don't have to download it or, um, or uncompress it with any specific software. When you double click it, it'll uncompress it automatically. Inside of both of those, uh, inside of that file, I'm just gonna show you here. You guys will have to excuse me. Um, I do have quite a bit going on here on my desktop. You know, it's uh, 
life of a creator, right? <laughs> so when I double click it, it's gonna uncompress it automatically, as you guys can see. And when I open up this folder here, so we can see these two, so JCLI and Jormungandr. So we need Jormungandr, that is the executable file right dot exe I believe that's what it is I'm not sure you guys correct me down in the comments below you guys have been doing a good job of that lately so I appreciate you guys so what we'll need to do is take this folder or take this file and you just want to drag it into the trash can just like so okay I've already done this on my computer so in the case that you haven't already done so you want to go ahead and drag that into the trash can it's gonna say that you need uh, administrative permission so you'll have to enter in the password for your desktop after you've done that you just simply just want to drag and drop Jormungandr over to replace that version okay so once that's done that's step two complete let's go back and take a look here we are at the Ada pools so now that we've downloaded jormungandr.exe and we've replaced it with the old version the next thing for us to do is going to be to update the jormungandr-config dot yaml file so in order to do that what we need to do we don't have to download any other program or anything like that we are going to need to open up the program text edit so text edit is an application that should be on your Mac already uh, what you want to do is go into the launch pad and search for it and we're gonna create a new document okay so once you have a new document it should look like this here you're gonna to wanna to copy and paste what we have written here now guys, it's nice because it's gonna be the same format for Mac and Windows. So whether or not you're running a Unix operating system or a Windows, it's gonna be the same format. This is gonna be the file that we're gonna to need to create for the jormungandr-config.yaml. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to text edit, simply going to copy and paste it. Now, something to keep in mind as far as creating a text edit file. So what we need to do if you go to the format tab you need to make sure that it's plain text okay so you have a couple different options you've got rich text and plain text in this case we're gonna need plain text so as you guys can see where I clicked at the top where it says format choose the option to make plain text okay so once you've made it made it as plain text what we'll need to do then is save it okay so I'm gonna actually one way I like to do it is if you exit out of it as a new file it's automatically going to prompt you with the option to save it so just a little shortcut and we're going to need to save this as the name of the file that we had originally so it's going to be jormungandr dash config dot yaml okay now guys with text edit so what it's going to do it's automatically going to save this file as a dot txt file that's the file format what we want to do is we want to uncheck this box here. So when we have this .yaml at the end, it's going to be automatically saving it as a .yaml file format. Okay, so we'll click on save. Now let's go ahead and minimize this. Again, guys, you'll have to excuse me. I've got a whole lot of stuff on my on my screen here. But this is the file. We can see here jormungandr-config.yaml. So we're going to open that up, and this is the file that we're going to need to replace with the old one. All right, so let's go back. Oops, right over here. Okay, so once we've done that, what we need to do is replace that file. Okay, so this is the folder that we were in here. And we can see this file right next to Jormungandr, jormungandr-config.yaml. So just like we did with Jormungandr, we'll need to drag this over into our trash can. And then we will need to drag jormungandr-config.yaml to replace it. So that's going to be the updated version of that file. Okay, and then once you guys have done that, that's pretty much it. What you want to do from there is go ahead and close out of this folder. I'm going to go back here to Adapool's website. What I did was just restarted my machine just to be sure that the updated uh, versions of the files were correctly you know, set in stone. You don't have to restart your computer. I did it just as an extra step. And from there, you're done. Uh, go ahead and try clicking on the Daedalus version of the Incentivized Testnet wallet and see if that works for you. 
Uh, so guys, if you do have any questions about how I went through this process, please be sure to let me know down in the comments section below. Again, much loves to Cardanians. Uh, if you guys are interested in supporting their website and their stake pool, their information is here. Uh, again, if you did find some value, please be sure to drop a like for me. And if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I want to keep you guys updated and informed everything related to Cardano. All of that is going to be found here on this channel. All right, you guys. I appreciate you watching. Until the next video, take care.